mislocation, uh, more so than we've seen. Uh, they made him pay for some pitches up over the plate, particularly the changeup that stayed up in the middle of the plate to Morrison for the Grand Slam. But uncharacteristic for Rick to have uh, you know, the, you know, multiple walks inside of a given inning, along with a long ball. So uh, if there's one thing that stands out, it's just the, the quality location wasn't there on a consistent basis tonight. He's given up a lot of hits in these three starts. Is there some, is there a threat running through these games or anything you got It probably comes back to location. Uh, not physical, not a lingering effect of uh, innings a year ago, nothing like that. Uh, he, he's strong physically. Work has been consistent. Uh, it's a matter of in-game lo location. You know, I thought tonight he, he kind of forced a number of pitches, trying to be uh, to quality location with good velocity that, that didn't add up to you know, the location or the consistent strikes and quality areas that we've seen for such a long string of starts from Rick. Um, so I, I can't say it's mechanics. Uh, you know, he just he never really had an ability to settle into any kind of rhythm here tonight. considering bringing Steven in, or was he just throwing a side session in the bullpen? We held him back uh, for his bullpen tonight in the event that something went awry even earlier in tonight's game. We, we've gone to the bullpen a lot. There were a couple of guys needed to stay away from tonight because of the number of times they've been to the mound and the number of pitches in Kelly's case two of the last three nights. So uh, we held him back in, in that type of emergency. You guys actually have hit the ratings. Is that frustrating because the runs weren't there? Was it encouraging because of that? You know, I will say this. We're seeing some guys really step, get their, their timing down consistently. Obviously, Mookie with a big night, Xander, uh, they're, they're swinging about well. We had multiple opportunities in the middle innings that, you know, one big blow or a two out base hit to, to cash in some opportunities. But like the fact that we continually do it throughout the ball game, uh, that, that will turn. Uh, but it would be nice to, to get a lead early at times to, to give ourselves a chance to play in front rather than trying to work so tough to, to come out of a hole or, or to build back uh, a couple of runs down late in the ballgame. Mike, is it, when you got a situation like that with Rick, is it, is it almost more perplexing the, the two walks in one inning than, than the hits? Again, it goes back to command of the baseball. Uh, that, that's something that, you know, you look back a year ago, it was the lowest number of walks that Rick issued inside of one given year. So when you see it combined, uh, that, that's more the aberration. We've had, you know, the first time through, I thought it was was what we anticipated. Guys going, you know, into the seventh inning, first time out. But uh, two of the last three nights, it, it's shown up, you know, on the flip side of that. So that's got a compounding effect, obviously, with the number of innings pitched out of that bullpen. So we're, we're capable of better. Uh, and honestly, the way we're built, we, we need consistency out of the rotation. And I'm confident we'll get that.